Welcome, this is Andy Bed of Great Plains Scrabble. Today we're going to review the Park Tool IB3 Multi-Tool. This little guy right here. Having a multi-tool certainly isn't a requirement when you're gravel biking, but as the roads get rougher and you get farther from town, having a set of tools to deal with unforeseen issues becomes more important. This is particularly the case with gravel riding, at least in my opinion, where a big part of the adventure is getting out in the countryside and away from civilization. There are many multi-tools on the market, wide range of size and features available. Park Tool has a range of these IB multi-tools, starting with the most minimal, the IB1, and then going to the most complete, which is this one, the IB3. It weighs in at about 6 ounces or 170 grams. While that isn't the lightest tool out there, it's pretty reasonable for my use. We'll walk through the primary features of the IB3 multi-tool. We'll start with the tire tool. This is of composite construction, so it's plastic and metal. Metal backbone covered with plastic to protect your rims when it's in use. The attachment point is plastic also, which worries me a little bit that when it wears, it may not stay on the tool quite as effectively, but that hasn't been an issue so far. It does have a small eight millimeter box end wrench here, and it has spoke tools of the two more common sizes. The chain tool is a primary feature of this tool that differentiates it from some of the less expensive or less complete tools. I've been fortunate to have never needed a chain tool on the road, but the additional weight and size to have this feature small enough, it seems worthwhile. I have used the chain tool in the shop. Um, it works well. The small size of the tire lever, which you use with the eight millimeter to drive the pins out, makes it a little bit more challenging than when you're using a larger shop type chain tool. The T25 Torx tool is another feature not commonly found on the more minimal tools. This is the most common type of Torx fastener found on bicycles, although a lot of bikes don't have these, so this isn't all that critical. The tool also features a flat blade screwdriver, very useful for making adjustments on derailleurs. It is toward the larger medium size, Works well for the derailleur adjustment screws on all of my bicycles. There is a very thorough set of hex wrenches, including 1.5, 2.5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8 millimeter. The handle of the tool is big enough to give reasonable leverage, so you can tighten most hex bolts quite thoroughly. Not surprisingly, these are the tools I've used the most on the road, ranging from tightening handlebar bolts that somehow worked loose to assisting a rider at one land run whose cleat bolts had come loose on his shoes. I've been using this tool for a couple of years and I'm very satisfied with it. I likely could have gone for a lighter tool with less features, but the peace of mind of having the chain tool to me is worthwhile. That being said, I still carry a pair of regular tire levers. The included tool will do the job, but I'm more comfortable with two tire levers when you're working on tight rims and having a hook at the end of the tire lever for the spoke is very useful and that's a feature that's lacking on this tool. The IB3 typically costs about $30, which certainly isn't inexpensive, but it's reasonable. This is quite a high quality tool. Thank you for watching and if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more bike reviews, tool reviews, and ride videos from the Great Plains area. I'll see you in the next video.